What's going on friends? Welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the top 5 richest Hermitcraft Season 7 members at this current moment. Obviously, as time goes on, the richest people and the list of who has the most diamonds is obviously going to fluctuate as the season goes on, and obviously, it's a lot different than when the season initially started as well. Now, the main thing we're going to be looking at today is obviously who has the most diamonds and in a top 5 list in order, and on top of that, I'm also going to be talking about all the top 5 Hermits who are the richest and what shops they currently have in the shopping district because honestly those shops ha heavily affect how many diamonds and how much income they currently have on the server now i also found a video that's very very recent from about a month ago where this guy goes into depth on the richest hermitcraft players in the server starting in the top 10 list and he actually puts the exact amount of diamonds they currently have hopefully this is somewhat accurate the video had a lot of views it had a lot of good feedback so i'm trusting this guy's research and that is what i'm basing this video off of as well so to start things off coming in and the number five richest hermit in the season seven server we have impulse v now this is a very popular member a lot of you guys probably know who he is and surprisingly enough he actually has some of the most shops and business endeavors on the server, even though he is only coming in at the number five spot, which is still a very good feat. There's a lot of people on the server, but when I was doing research for this video with all the shops that he currently owns, I thought that he would be higher up on this list. In total, Impulse has five different shops active on the shopping district in the Hermitcraft server. Some of these are conjoined shops with other hermits, and the five shops that he does own is his Totem of Undying shop, and then he also has a Concrete shop as well that he does with Exumavoid, and then he also does the Boomers, which is pretty much like a business where they blow stuff up for people responsibly using TNT. He also does that with a few other Hermits as well in collaboration. And then for his last two shops, he has Lamps Plus, which focuses on lighting and different lighting fixtures for interior designs. And then he also had a mini game that was only seasonal, so it's not active anymore, but him and Tango Tech actually did the Trick or Treat shop where you were able to put in diamonds, and it was a gamble on whether whether or not you would get some awesome rewards or you would drop and die in lava it was a really cool mini game that like i said was only seasonal for halloween but it was still really awesome and he has had a lot of collaborations and different business ventures with different hermits and coming in at the number four spot we actually have vintage beef which was pretty surprising to me obviously all of the hermits have big followings but I feel like his following isn't as big as some of the other people up on this list. And it was really surprising after doing research to find that out of all the people on this top five list, Vintage Beef has the most unique shops in the shopping district that he does and a lot of them are actually solo shops as well which probably attributes to his success on the server because he's not having to split the profits and the diamonds with other hermits that are running the shops with him so in total vintage actually has six different shops currently active and available in the shopping district and just to name a few of the more popular shops that attribute to a lot of his diamonds and his success he has the bone zone he also has a music shop with etho that's very very popular a lot of the hermits in the server have actually used that service which i know is attributing to a lot of the diamonds and then he also has his own standalone shop where he sells all different types of music discs as well that are available in minecraft survival on top of that he has a llama shop that sells a bunch of different wool colors and different llamas he has a wallpaper shop as well, which is pretty unique, and I feel like that's in high demand since those are a little bit hard to obtain. And then for his last shop, he has Podzle Plus, where he sells Podzle and different landscaping things that you could use for paths or terraform. And coming in at the number three spot, we have our boy Tango Tech, one of the more popular players here on the Hermitcraft server. A lot of his recent stuff that he's done on the server has been very successful, and he also has a very long history of having some really awesome shops in the shopping district since he been in Hermitcraft a few seasons ago. So in total, Tango Tech has three different shops that are currently active, and four if you count Decked Out, which obviously was a very, very successful minigame. All the Hermits and the viewers and everyone a part of the Hermitcraft community absolutely love that game, but unfortunately for him, that game was not based off paying diamonds. You actually had to find some of the Decked Out keys in order to get access. I guarantee if he charged like a stack of diamonds for a key, he probably would have made a lot of profits just because of how popular it was, but I did want to mention that because that still was technically a business venture in the shopping district. Now, the three shops that Tango Tech is currently running, one is the Ironworks, where he pretty much sells a bunch of different redstone and things based around iron. Some of the more annoying items 
items to craft so it's pretty successful because people would rather just pay diamonds in order to get them than collecting the resources and getting them themselves and the hermitcraft is a pretty technical server they're always building automated farms and systems and all of those redstone items are very important to a lot of the members which is why it's in high demand the next shop is a rocket shop which of course everyone on the server at this point has elytras rockets are always always going to be needed so that probably generates a lot of profits for him as well and his final shop that he actually does in collaboration is his nether shop obviously tango is known for using a lot of nether brick and different nether blocks that aren't really that common but he makes them work in a lot of his builds and he actually opened up a shop this season to sell all the different types especially with the new 1.16 updates there is a ton of blocks to obtain and sell in the shop now coming in at the number two spot and the runner up in the podium we actually have hypnotized which was a big surprise to me because like i said when i was doing research for this I did not expect Hypnotize to be up this list, especially in the number two spot. And what's really weird about this is he only has two active shops in the shopping district right now, which tells me that this guy probably does a bunch of mining off camera. And a lot of his diamonds probably just come from mining and getting it organically as opposed to his shops. Now, the two shops that he does have on it, the Hermitcraft server in the shopping district, the first one is literally called the Diamond Shop, which I think is pretty popular. It probably generates him a lot of profits and the second shop that he currently has is a trident shop where obviously he sells tridents and uh, some of those items that are very rare and annoying to get so I guarantee if any hermits are looking for that he probably has the monopoly there and that definitely gives them some diamonds as well now like I said I don't think these stores are crazy popular so I feel like hypnotize probably does a lot of mining off camera but nonetheless that does not take away from the fact that he is in the number two spot and he actually has a lot of diamonds overall which I really respect considering a a lot of it is probably just from mining now coming in at the number one spot and i feel like this was pretty obvious just because of his business ventures and the shopping district have been so popular this season that is our boy Grian. and actually if you take a look at all of the different amount of diamonds that the top five people have two through four are very very close literally all the top two three and four people in the server are within a thousand diamonds of each other but Grian coming in at the number one spot has a massive lead over everyone else and he is in the four thousands for the total number of diamonds he has and of course you all know by now the one shop that Grian has in the server is actually Grian's barge which is extremely popular he built it early on in the season the demand was crazy high he couldn't keep up so he bought more land expanded reinvested his diamonds and now he has one of the most if not the most popular shop in the shopping district where he sells a bunch of different items he's really scaled up he's actually gone into business and done a little bit of collaboration with impulse and overall he's done a really good job of obtaining a ton of diamonds this season this guy has so many green is so rich that he's literally using diamond blocks in a lot of his builds he recently just worked on the interior of his mansion and uh you already know he had to flex some of his diamonds and it's just insane how much he has and how big of a lead he has over all the other hermits on this list it's just mind-blowing but there you guys have it there is the top five richest hermits at the moment obviously this can change and maybe by the end of the season we'll make an updated version if you guys show a lot of support on this video and basically go over who is the richest in the top five at the very end of the season before they start hermitcraft season eight which is probably going to be a while but let us know your feedback down in the comment section below that's all we got for you guys today if you enjoyed don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and we will see you guys in the next one take it easy my friends